to get this place, Rutgers, to where you want it to be in the next three to five years, what, what are the one or two things that need to happen for that to, for, for you guys to get there? Continue to fill the pipeline. I look at our program from a personnel standpoint as a pipeline of people. And there's two levels. There's the players, and then there's the staff. We have to continue. You know, one of the number one things as the head coach, it's my job to continually be evaluating future staff members. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, it's a transient profession, right? People come and go. And it's my job to make sure every time we replace someone that there's a net upgrade. Mm -hmm. So that's hard to do, right? When you lose a great coach, a net upgrade might take two people. You may not only be able to replace that person with one person if they're an elite performer. So it's make sure that I'm staying in current with staff needs. And then with the players, that pipeline is recruit the right guys for Rutgers and fill the pipeline. Because once it's full, it starts running out the other end. And we're about three quarters full. Mm-hmm. We got to get the rest of the pipeline full, and then it'll start flowing. And that's what happened last time, because we're a developmental program. Yeah. So when we bring a guy in at 18 years old, he's got to develop and get to the end of that pipeline where he's 21 now and he's physically and emotionally able to go out there and dominate a game. Well, yeah. the more you have in the pipeline, eventually the more they get to the end of the pipeline where they're older, they're men. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a big, you know, you did it. It's yeah. a huge difference when you're an 18 year old and when you're a 22 year old. No doubt. I mean, it's men playing against young boys, right? Mm-hmm. So, I think fill in the pipeline, and that is recruit and develop. You say, what's the the underlying philosophy? Recruit Mm -hmm. and develop. Recruit and develop. you got to recruit the right guys for Rutgers, and then everything else we do is to develop them in every area of their life. You know, I would argue this is the most holistic program there is in the country when you're talking about dealing with every area of the players' lives. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the part that we didn't even hit on, the staff retention, right? Just having to you got to recruit your own staff as well and make sure they're happy every year. 100%. Everyone wants more money. And that's where resources, as you mentioned earlier, Rutgers has been incredible in stepping up and helping Mm -hmm. go out and get the best staff we can have. Because, you know, I used to think I could, you know, as a young coach, I'll just do it myself. I'll will it to happen. (laughs) Not so fast. Yeah. And especially as you change some of your priorities. If I'm going to be in my office for six hours watching the tape by myself Mm -hmm. and then go talk to the staff, yeah. Well, I better have two great leaders running the offense and the defense yeah. because they are running two major operations each side of the ball mm. and uh, and then someone that's running special teams as well. So yeah. the resources needed to do that, we're, we're, I feel blessed that Rutgers has stepped up yeah. that way. But recruit and develop both our, our talent in the staff and our talent in the team. Yeah. 